This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Sandra Ali. Here's a look at your top headlines on this Thursday. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance has now officially accepted the GOP nomination for vice president. During the third night of the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee last night, Vance's wide-ranging speech made the case Republicans best understand the challenges facing struggling Americans. Now, I pledge to every American, no matter your party, I will give you everything I have to serve you and to make this country a place where every dream you have for yourself, your family, and your country will be possible once again. Former President Donald Trump will formally accept his nomination as the GOP's choice for president. You can watch it live tonight starting at 10 right here on CBS Detroit. Former President Trump and his running mate will be in Grand Rapids on Saturday. It's the first campaign rally for Trump since the assassination attempt last weekend. The rally will be held at the Van Andel Arena in downtown Grand Rapids. Our Kelly Vaughn will be heading there to travel to Grand Rapids to cover the visit. You can watch for her live report Saturday on CBS News Detroit. President Joe Biden has COVID. He tested positive yesterday after an event in Las Vegas. The White House says Biden is vaccinated and boosted and is experiencing mild symptoms. He's self-isolating right now in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Today could be the end of the Samantha Wall murder trial. Deliberations will resume for a fifth day later this morning. Jurors are deadlocked. The judge has given them until the end of the day today to reach a verdict or she'll declare a mistrial. The defendant, Michael Jackson Bolanos, he's accused of stabbing Wall to death outside her Detroit home last October. He's maintained his innocence. Prosecutors say there is enough circumstantial evidence that points to him being the killer. If a verdict is reached, we're going to bring it to you live on air and streaming on CBSDetroit.com, the CBS News app, and Pluto TV. Starting this morning and just a little bit at 9, the ramp connecting northbound I-75 to eastbound 696 will close. Emergency repairs need to be made because of a hole there in the bridge deck. That ramp will stay closed until 5 on Monday morning. Let's go ahead and check in with next weather meteorologist Troy Bridges for your Thursday forecast. Troy, good morning. Good morning, Sandra. Today, a spectacular day in store, warming to a high of 76 degrees with lots of sunshine. So today will be cooler than we've seen over the past several days. Not the 80s today, going only to 76. It will be a little breezy at times. We will be dry, of course, as we show you no green bars across the board here into the afternoon hours. So future cast will show a couple of clouds, a couple of cumulus clouds clouds, those puffy clouds in the atmosphere, but not seeing much in the way of anything to block the sun from enjoying the uh, next few days. So we're going to enjoy a beautiful weekend as well. So for today, tomorrow on into Saturday and Sunday, high pressure dominates the forecast and that will lead to plenty of sunshine and drier air. Lower humidity also rolling into the picture as we talk about your afternoon today. So warming into the 70s, even some areas only getting into the 60s, a high of 69 degrees of Port Huron on today, 76 in Detroit and Arbor today at 74, Pontiac today at 72, Monroe at 74 degrees. Then early morning temperatures tomorrow will be in the 50s, 55 in Pontiac, 58 in Detroit, 51 in Ann Arbor, 50 at Port Huron and 52 in Lapeer. So the next seven days will show lots of sun, a high tomorrow of 80, then going to 84 degrees on Saturday, even Sunday looking nice, but a few additional clouds roll into Sunday. We will be dry though, a high of 84, even Monday dry in the mid 80s. And Sandra, look, we do see rain chances returning Tuesday and Wednesday, but until then, lots of sunshine to enjoy. Sounds good, Troy. Thank you. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later today covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV. Have a great day.